there has been a push to revolutionize your interactions with your data and private large language model technology. We have seen this many times with apps like Private GPT, Ragstack, and many others. This is where I introduce to you DBGPT, also known as Database GPT. This is an open source project which aims to localize GPT large language models to interact with your data and environment. There is no data leakage and your data is 100% private and secured. Now you might be wondering, why not just use private GPT? Well, the reason is because database GPT allows you with a lot of different types of things, which puts it ahead of private GPT in terms of its features. You have a private domain with question answering and data processing. You have faster processing of chat generation. You're able to chat with multiple ranges of files. You have a more sleek UI, which you can see on the screen right here. Uh, you're also able to chat with a lot of more local GPT models. And this is something that we're going to be covering throughout today's video. Now, this, these are just some of the small features that I listed. There's many others, but this is something that we'll take a look at throughout today's video as you explore how to install database GPT, showcase some demos, features, the feature roadmap, and much more. So with that thought, let's get right into the video. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. As we talked about the start, we're going to be covering database GPT more in depth by taking a look at how you can install it, some of the features and much more. Now, this is basically what private GPT is able to do, but with a sleeker and better UI, you have a faster generation as you have fast GPT being utilized throughout the architecture. You're also able to have your data secured 100% and it's super private so you don't have to worry about any data leakage or anything of that sort. Now let's get to the next step of the video where we will now start installing database GPT. Now guys before we actually install this you need to make sure that you fulfill the hardware requirements. Now we can see over here they give a breakdown as to how you'll be able to perform while using this application if you have the required GPU and the RAM size. So we can see over here if you have the RTX 4090 you're going to be able to have a smoother conversation but if you go down a little bit more it says that if your vram size is not enough database gpt supports a 8-bit quantization and a 4-bit quantization so here are some of the vram size usages of the models we tested in some common scenarios so they give a list of different models in which it is able to run off the different types of ranges of RAM sizes that you might have. So just keep this in mind if you want to install some of the models for your PC that you want to utilize with database GPT. So once you have fulfilled the requirements of what you want to run, keep this in mind and we'll move on to the next step where we'll start installing this. If you guys would like to follow the Patreon page in which you can access our private Discord as well as many different features like giveaways, you have exclusive news, you have partnerships and much more, definitely take a look at the link in the description below. If you guys haven't followed World of AI, I highly recommend that you do so so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn notification bell, like this video and check out our previous videos. Now, before we actually go on installing, we're going to need a couple of applications to have database locally installed. Firstly, you're going to need Git, which is an application that will help you clone the repository onto your desktop. Secondly, you will need Python, and this is going to be used for your code. And thirdly, you're going to need uh, Conda, and this is to basically install the virtual environments to run locally on your desktop. So once all these three applications are done and fully installed, we'll get to the next step of the video. Now guys, I'll leave all the links in the description below, as well as the documentation, which shows a step-by-step -step process that guidelines each and every step that I'm going to be talking about right now. Now, what you want to do first is go on to GitHub for database GPT, click on the screen button, copy the link of the repository, open up command prompt. And once you have this opened up, type in git clone and paste the link in. Now this will start cloning the repository. So it'll take a couple seconds. And once this is done, we'll go back onto the documentation and we'll copy this commander over here, which is conda create. And this is gonna create the environment for the database GPT. So once this is fully installed, we'll paste this in. So what you want to do next is paste this command in, conda create, and once you paste it in, click enter. 
Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that you need to make sure that you have the latest Python version. Obviously, you probably did if you installed it recently, but you need to make sure that it's above 3.10. So make sure that you have that fulfilled. And once this is done, uh, we can then click proceed. It will ask you to proceed forward with installation. So then it'll take a couple seconds to download and extract the packages. So once the virtual environment is created, we'll be right back. Now, once this is done, you can now activate Conda and we're going to now activate the actual environment. And this is by copying this code and pasting it right over here. Click enter. Now, what you need to do next, guys, is go and copy this command over here. Pip install. Now, once you have activated the database GPT environment, you need to go inside the folder of database GPT, copy and paste pip install and click enter. Now, this is going to start obtaining the files from database GPT and installing all the requirements. So this might take a couple of minutes. In this case, it's taking me a while, but once this is ready, I'll be right back. Once it has fully installed, what you need to do next is copy this code over here and paste it back into command prompt and click enter. Now, for the people who want to be running different types of large language models, uh, for example, if you want to run different models that we saw over here, you can definitely do so. But make sure that you do this important step. And this is by creating a new folder in the data GPT project. So what you can do is open up the actual file, which you cloned onto your repository. You can either do this with Visual Studio Code or you can just do it off of Windows. So once you're here, you can basically just create a models folder and you can basically just create a new folder here. Sorry, I'm a little slow here. Models and click enter. Now, once this is done, what you need to do is that you, whatever models that you download needs to be directed into that folder. So if you're going to be installing things, you can go onto Hugging Face, find the model that you want. Go back into command prompt, type in CD dbgpt once you're in this folder you can clone whatever model that you want uh, in this case they give you like in this case if you want to install vicuna they give you this get clone over here with the hugging face model link now once this is done you can click enter and then it will clone to the model that you have recently installed and once this is done you can basically start loading up database gpt as easy as that I would like to also mention that you're able to use OpenAI's GPT model and this is by inputting the OpenAI API key into the .n file. So if you really want to utilize it, make sure you take out the .template in which you can do so fairly easily in command prompt or Visual Studio Code by renaming the file, inputting your API key and making sure that you get rid of the .template and clicking save. And from there, you can then start running the model. Now, this is optional. You can load examples into SQL Lite, or you can just run it off your database, or, or sorry, your server, in which you can copy this code, paste it into command prompt, click enter, and you're open to start playing around with it on your local host. Unfortunately, guys, I won't be able to showcase a real demo as I'm not able to handle it on my computer as the hardware is just way too extensive for me but it's fairly easy you have different types of multi agents and plugins yet you can play with which we can see in the features tab over here that you have currently an sql language capabilities you have your own chat database which basically allows you to chat with different files powerpoints pdfs excel and many more you have a chat excel in which you can analyze different charts different data sets and content through that excel file you have different types of plugins in which you can execute code as well as analyze different types of graphs and this is just a great way for you to access many different types of files and sources within a private network so this is just a great way for you to play around with this so i hope you you found this part of the video very helpful let us get to the next start where we actually talk a little bit more in depth but about the architecture of database gpt the architecture of database gpt is shown in this figure over here we have five key components you have the large language model operating system which utilizes fast chat and from this it basically establishes an operating system for handling large language models it basically makes it more efficient when you utilize these models now from this we can see that it utilizes different large language models such as vicuna chat glm gorilla which is a plug and play type of large language model which utilizes many different types of 
API callings and it utilizes it for the best solution of whatever input that you give it. Thirdly, you have a private domain knowledge base, which is focusing on question answering capabilities. And this is for specialized capabilities for private domain knowledge. From this, you have a support of different plugins. And this architecture is basically designed to be extendable. So it supports the integration of additional plugins that can help your user inputs. So in this case, you can have plugins that focus on SQL executors, code execution, data analysis, and so much more. Now, lastly, you have the native support for auto GPT plugins. And this is very unique as it basically allows the system to be pre-configured to work seamlessly with auto GPT's plugin. And it's designed for like automating certain tasks within database GPT, which is really, really cool because you're actually having a connection of everything in AI with this basic model. So not everything, but you're able to get a good grasp of a lot of basic functionalities in the AI on all in one with the system of database GPT. Now we can see over here, there's core capabilities and they consist of like these seven things, which we talked about. You're able to have a knowledge base capability, large scale model management capability, unified, unified data vector storage, a connection model. You have module, sorry, agent and plugins, prompt generation and optimization, multi-platform product interface. Now there's a lot more information on all of this on their actual doc in which you can get more information about the application, the modules, as well as the use cases. So if you're interested in that, I'll leave the link in the description for that as well. And lastly, I just want to talk about their roadmap. They are actually focusing on many cool things in the future. Right now, they're actually reached up to the data GPT hub in which you're able to upload data sets and SFT models. So currently we're at this stage and we're obviously going to be looking forward to more different things being added on with database GPT. But overall, this is an amazing application and I'm surprised I didn't really cover this before as this is a very unique opportunity for you to privately focus on many different types of large language model technologies so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed today's video make sure you check out the patreon page if you want to access our private discord definitely give world of ai a follow if you guys haven't already and make sure you guys subscribe to our notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos as there's a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from so thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas